11 song original music album that I recorded mainly over the pandemic is out today on all digital music platforms. It's been out on CD uh, for a few weeks now and uh, it's also gonna come out in vinyl, but there's been some delays. So I don't think we'll see that <laughs> until uh, maybe Christmas, uh, maybe the first of the year, but um, I'm hoping that'll be coming soon, but that is all in line. There's just supply delays and all that type of stuff. Um, so anyway, how did this album came about? If you've been watching me on Instagram and YouTube the last uh, two to three months, I've been putting a little bit about each song out there, but I haven't really got into just the big picture of how this came to be and why I decided to release my own solo album. And that all started really about April of this year. Uh, I was taking some online drum set lessons from Carter McLean, uh, who's well known in the Northeast uh, as a great drummer and worldwide as a great drummer. Uh, but he uh, was talking about a couple albums that he was putting out on his own and it got me thinking about all the music that I've been recording through the pandemic and it changed my mind of what I thought an album was. So he was putting out or is putting out just drum albums, just stuff that he's coming up with in his studio. And I'd always thought of putting out music in an album as needing to be a band and full songs with the you know, a guitarist and bass, bassist and singer and all that stuff of, I think of all the bands that I was in Seattle and that made sense putting out albums, but putting out a personal solo, instru mostly instrumental album, I just, uh, it took me a while to wrap my head around it. But once we had that conversation, I realized I had eight or nine songs that I'd already recorded and put out just in different formats on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or what have you. And I went back and found the original files for those and also recorded two or three more songs. And by that time, I realized I had a full album of songs. I just needed the finishing touches on it. So I would go back and add some percussion, um, maybe a trumpet part here or there. Um, I had my son uh, Nathan play a sax part, a sax solo. I had Jamie play a double bass part on one of the songs. Um, and then I used Stephanie's, my wife's uh, poem, to sing over uh, one of the last songs I recorded, 11 Shooting Stars Ago. So by that time, I had all the songs, um, and this is probably May, and I reached out to Jack and Dino, uh, who's well known in the Seattle area, um, and worldwide for that matter, uh, as an engineer, as a musician, and what have you. Um, and he had recorded my band DFL back in 1988, uh, when I was in high school, uh, our punk band, and we put out a couple cassette tapes. But I reached back out to him and he decided that he could help me out and was, uh, you know, no questions asked, let's do this. And he helped take all my original files and music that I had put together and recorded in different stages of one mic or two mics or what have you over the last basically year and a half, uh, two years as I built out this studio. And he was able to <laughs> make all that production wise sound good. Um, where I was lacking in some of my recording skills. So with all that being done, um, then I figured out how to distribute it uh, through DistroKid. And then I met up and got in touch with uh, Kindercore Vinyl out of Athens, Georgia to do the vinyl and Disc Master Masters to do the CD. And I was able to put out my own album. Um, I've already had a couple designers that I was working with just by people that I've met within Shooting Star, um, my other business. Uh, but then also got some more contacts and started working with a guy named Quinn who helped me with the artwork and all that. So it's out there. Um, you can download it, stream it, or what have you on any of the you know music platforms, be it Spotify or Amazon um, or iTunes or Apple Music or what have you. So that's all out there. Um, I hope you get a chance to take a listen. Um, it's only about 30 minutes for all 11 songs. Um, I'm singing vocals on two of them and the rest are all instrumental. Just a wide variety of music styles, but it all has bass, drums, piano as kind of like the, um, uh, the base of all the music that uh, I put out there. And then uh, just keep up with me if you can on uh, Instagram or YouTube or Facebook. I'll be putting out a couple more albums over the next several months. Um, one later this month, it will be um, Black Moses. We've uh, found a song that we never released as well as uh, three songs that were only put out on a demo. 
and talking with Jack and Dino, I ended up having those four songs all remixed and mastered and we're putting those out later this month and those will also be on vinyl um, probably next year just because of the delay in vinyl. And then I'm finishing up um, a follow-up album um, that will be to that G-Town sound. Um, and that should be done early in 2022. That'll get released digitally and also on vinyl and probably CD as well uh, next year. So um, I really enjoyed putting this out and I hope you get a chance to listen to it and I hope you enjoy it too.